it is shocking how many diseases, chronic diseases that we think would have no metabolic origins actually have at their core an, an unavoidable metabolic origin. Like for example, the, the hyperinsulinemia that comes with the high insulin levels that someone has in insulin resistance, if we look at what that does at the ovaries in a woman, it's profound. The most common form of infertility in women is a disease called polycystic ovarian syndrome, where the, 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 the ovaries are going through the um, menstrual cycle, the woman is going through the menstrual cycle, the ovaries are developing a lot of little eggs every month, but in order for the, all the rest of the eggs to go away, one of them must ovulate. And with that one egg ovulating from one of the ovaries, then all the other kind of budding little eggs will, will, will go away. But in the absence of one ovulating, all of those little eggs stick around and they become these big cysts in the ovaries. And that problem happens because the woman doesn't get this big estrogen spike, which she needs immediately preceding ovulation. This big estrogen spike and one other hormone, well, many hormones come into play, but estrogen spike is a big one. Too much insulin blocks the ovaries from making that big estrogen spike. Insulin inhibits the process whereby, in fact, this is fascinating, but all estrogen hormones were once testosterone. The ovaries convert the testosterone into the estrogens. And this happens in men and women. Of course, in women, it happens more, and women thus have higher estrogen levels than men. But that one enzyme that um, mediates that conversion from testosterone to estrogens is inhibited by insulin. And so the woman who has insulin resistance and high insulin levels at the level of the, at her ovaries, the insulin is directly preventing that big estrogen surge, preventing ovulation. 